In this video, I'm going to do a quick review of the Sigma Probe SP1 Automotive Test Light. I was provided this product free of charge by Sigma Probe. I'm allowed to say anything I find good or bad. So let's get into it. Now let's take a quick tour around the SP1. The incandescent test bulb is located at the very top. The polarity indicator lights are located just below the bulb. Next to that, we have the LED digital display, which displays the current DC voltage level. Further down the SP1 is the bulb and LED switch, also known as the mode switch. The detachable stainless steel probe must be installed into the SP1 before the SP1 can be used. Next, you can see the large alligator clip with sharp steel probe and the 45 inch wire. In the lower right, it points out that the incandescent bulb is user replaceable if the bulb were ever to burn out. And it appears the bulb is an automotive 194 12 volt bulb. The supported voltage range for the SV1 is 5 volts to 30 volts DC. Per the user manual, if you are using the SV1 with a 24 volt vehicle, Make sure you replace the provided bulb with a compatible 24 volt bulb. There are three working modes for the SV1. You can toggle between them by pressing the mode selection switch. Mode zero is the fast test mode, which displays the voltage level and the incandescent bulb is on. Mode one is stated as being computer safe because the incandescent bulb has been turned off. And finally, we have mode two, which turns off the LED voltage display leaving only the incandescent test bulb on. The SP1 includes a polarity indicator. It will display red when the tip of the probe is connected to the positive side of the circuit. It will display green when the tip is connected to the negative or ground side of the circuit. The SP1 can be used for a lot of the common automotive electrical tests you may have, such as testing fuses, voltage testing, testing generators and alternators, and it can be used in a bi-directional circuit test. I ran a voltage test to see how accurate the SP1's voltage display was compared to a competitor's product and the actual voltage level being produced by the DC power supply that's off screen. The multimeter is displaying the same voltage as the display on the DC power supply. The SP1 supports 5 volts to 30 volts DC. As the voltage goes below 5 volts, the SP1 turns off, which makes sense since it only supports down to 5 volts. The other voltage tester supports voltages down to 3 volts. Now I'm testing higher voltages. I start with 12.6 volts, which is the voltage level of a fully charged automotive battery. I then raise the power supply voltage through the voltages supported by a 12 volt charging system. Then I test the higher voltages between 20 and 30 volts DC. The SP1's voltage display is at times negative 0.2 to negative 0.35 volts below the actual voltage level. The typical voltage accuracy for devices in the SP1's price range of 15 to 20 US dollars is usually plus or minus 0.2 volts. Here are my final thoughts on the Sigma Probe SP1 automotive test light. The things I like about it, of course you have the LED display of the voltage reading, the polarity indicators, the user replaceable incandescent bulb here that connect as a load on the circuit. When both the LED display and the incandescent bulb are on, the load on the circuit is approximately 350 milliamps. You have the three user selectable modes. Mode zero is with both of them on. Mode one is just the LED display. And then mode two is just the incandescent bulb. You have the clamp here for the ground typically and then you have this probe here you can do a gentle back probe on a circuit as well so those are the good things the things i don't like about this is the fact that the voltage level here is not as accurate as it should be usually most of these devices in this price range are within 0.2 volts plus or minus of the actual reading and right now i'm supplying 12.6 volts and it's just at 12.4 so if i were to Turn that back on. Still, it's barely in spec at this particular point. I've had other tests where it's been up to 0.3 to 0.35 volts off the actual voltage being supplied. 
So I'd like to see that improved in the future. And a Sigma probe rep said that they will try to make that better in a future release of the product. I hope the information in this video has allowed you to make an informed choice of whether the Sigma probe SP1 is the automotive test light for you. If you found this video to be helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit that bell notification to be notified when I upload new videos just like this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.